Hey guys, I felt like it was time to respond to Tolarian Community College's video. I think I actually agree with some of it. I think Hasbro should not be letting go people, especially the Wizard of the Coast, which actually has made money. They have made a lot of money by reprinting stuff. Now, do I think the Wizard of the Coast team is good? No, I think that they are largely incompetent. That being said, even incompetent employees, I would not, even for my own business, I would not lay them off before Christmas because that is just being very wicked. Now, in terms of, let, let's uh, talk about in terms of what this means for magic. Uh, magic stores are bankrupting left and right. I made a video and it was like, we had three stores in Houston bankrupt in the same month. That was November. I will probably make an update video. I think there's two more stores that bankrupt in December. And after the holidays, probably more. Uh, I actually imagine that some of these stores will be selling. And maybe there's an opportunity to open a new magic store. I don't know. This is, again, it's kind of silly to be talking about this right now. But this is a company run by Cynthia Williams. Cynthia Williams is from Big Tobacco. I've covered her in great detail on my other channel, Lus, L-U-S. And she is not a good human being. Um, she was part of Philip Morris Big Tobacco. I went back to look at it. And they were actually guilty. No, no, this is not slander. Guilty of trying to get kids addicted to nicotine so they could sell more tobacco. If that sounds familiar, uh, you can understand the lottery ticket idea, right? Oh, there's a golden ticket. Willy Wonka style. I think MetaZoo did that one time and it was an epic fail. Um, yes, Magic the Gathering is not how I remember it. It is definitely not a situation where I find that it's a good idea. I think in terms of where it's heading, I think it, it could head to zero. People think I'm joking when I'm saying this, but look at MTGO Traders. They are a huge company, has probably a decade, probably even longer of, um, you know, a decade, maybe even longer of just um, having existed and it's no longer around. It's crazy to me that such a big company like MTGO could go belly up. Uh, they're, they're a gigant. I mean, wow. Um, the other thing I'm going to tell you is people be bankrupting people. I mean, it's just awful right now I, it, it's just so bad right now for magic the gathering i, I can't even you know I, I don't even want to play this game no more i don't want to collect it it's that ugly and and just between me and you i i know everyone knows why it's so ugly it's because the staff is the the team whoever's making this game they're just milking us for every mother effing dollar we have and even then it, it just feels bad it just feels bad, okay? That's the best way I can put it. It doesn't feel right. It feels like they're taking advantage of us as customers. Uh, and the simplest way I can put it is, guys, the CEO gave him a $9 million bonus after laying off the majority of his staff. Or not the majority, 30%, 20%, whatever of his staff. This is bonkers insane to me it is bonkers insane that this would even be something that he would think about doing this would be something that he would why don't he just take less money why don't the homie just take less money i i don't understand why the homie gotta take all the money and lay off all the people before christmas this is a terrible company i mean this is horrific what what, what can you say I mean, what can you say about a company that does something like this? Um, not much, man. You, you can't say much. <laughs> what, what else can I... Anyway, this is a really bad company. I, wouldn't, I would hate to work for this company. I would hate for my friends to work at this company. I would hate, hate, hate for any of this stuff. Because truly, yeah, I got to agree with Tolarian Community College. It's, it's just sad. It, it's sad to see this. It's sad to... Um, it's just sad, man. I mean... No one should get... In my opinion, no one should get laid off. 
um, before Christmas time where you got to spend it with your family and stuff. They're either really, really, really um, tight on money, right? They're either really, really tight on money or something's wrong with the company. Maybe they want to sell the company. Maybe they want to, I don't know, man. It, it doesn't, none of this makes too much sense to me. If they're making so much money from Magic the Gathering, which, like, why don't you just separate the entity and try to make more money from that? Why would you, um, why would you act and behave this way? It doesn't, I, I just am very confused by the layoffs. Um, again, bit magic business in general not doing well, but the layoffs are just so weird to do. And to give yourself a bonus, hmm, Magic the Gathering just kind of sucks right now. I, I can't say I. It is what it is. I mean, there's no simple way. I, I just don't have fun playing the game anymore. Uh, do I find shit talking on the game? Yeah, I like it. So I will continue shit talking a day game because that's what I like doing. But I do agree with Tolarian Community College on this. This doesn't make any sense. You have one department that is making a lot of money that is probably very profitable, I'd imagine. And all you're doing is reprinting cards and so on. And you slice that department by like most of the employees that were laid off. It looks like it's coming from D&D &D and it looks like it's coming from Wizard of the Coast. Cynthia Williams is a savage when it comes to layoffs and selling big tobacco. She doesn't care if your kid smoked tobacco. That's good for her, man. That means better tobacco. And that's not slander. That's actually a legal case where they found out that Philip Morris was trying to get kids addicted to cigarettes. Because they're cause it's kind of funny, right? If you think about it. Their target demographic is dying because of the poison you're putting in them. So then, therefore, they have to find a new demographic, which is younger kids. <laughs> this is exactly like Wizard Coast. The target demographic of Magic the Gathering players are dying because you're reprinting their value to zero. You know, I saw a Zuza for like $4 out of the day at a local game store. A Zuza, lost but searching. Um, I think it was like a Magic 25th edition version. Man, that card used to be a $10, $20 card. God, that used to be such a beautiful card too. Um, and now it's like 5 bucks. Like, you can't make this shit up. I... You can't make this stuff up. I, I wish this was not real, but this is what's happening with the game right now. I mean, there's no stopping them. They will continue to savage the game and milk every single dollar they can from you. And once they're done milking that dollar, they're going to get your children addicted to pack openings. And, you know, they, I hate collector's edition, man. I hate it from the very get-go. I thought that was a like, VIP, VIP packs. You know, everything that Alpha Investment loved, I hated because I knew this would be the end result. Eventually, the snake would eat itself. It, it's, it is what it is, right? A snake is a snake. A scorpion is a scorpion. A Cynthia Williams from Philip Morris is a Cynthia Williams from Philip Morris, right? What do you expect her? How do you expect her to behave? How do you expect this guy, what is his name, Chris Cox, to behave? He's going to do what's going to give him a bonus. He doesn't give a damn about his employees. He got that bonus. A job well done. When the stock is plummeting off a cliff. You gotta be kidding me.